we have left the comfort of Accra. We have left the comfort of Accra to come to places like here in the middle of Ghana, Techimai, Bono East. Not because we enjoy being here, but because this are where the opportunities are. This is the farming, this is the food basket of Ghana. This is where all the farming activities goes goes on. And this place is closer to the to the to to, to the northern part of Ghana where maize is produced in larger quantities. Seriously. Alright. So we are here for a reason. We are here because we want to reach out to you. We want to we want to get the first hand information about agribusiness, about the green trading. And then so that when you reach out to us, you get the information that you need. Listen to us. Listen to me. And I'm saying this. This this thing, this is a hard end reputation. If you are if you're watching this video right now and you think Ashko or your as has 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 done a bad business with you. Put it in the comment section. Let the whole world watch it. And I tell you, not even a single person can legitimately put up such a comment. Because we have done all our business legitimately. We have done all our business with credibility. If we cannot do it, we will tell you that we cannot do it. A lot of people calling us that they want farmlands, that they want all sort of information about agribusiness if we cannot do it i will personally tell you that we can't do it or we can't do it right now we will probably get back to you at the best time so i'm very confident about whatever i say listen to me and take my word for what it is if anybody think if anybody have and I'm saying this because I want to, I want, I want to, I, I, I'm so confident about my credibility that I want to put it out on the, to the world. If there's any such person, <laughs> it's any such person, there's nobody. Because, and it is true, because, be very honest, listen, money is hard to come by. Money is hard to come by. It's very difficult that you work for your money and then you put it in the hands of someone and then you will not get the results that you expected. I have heard a lot of stories. I opened this, I started this channel a few years ago, let's say three, four years ago, and I wasn't so consistent. But for the past two years that I've been very consistent, I've heard a lot of stories about people trusting their fans into the hands of other people because they love agribusiness, they love farming, and they love green trading. And then, and so they, they, they actually interested their finances, interested in their investment in the hands of people they perceive to have the knowledge to, you know, to. To, to execute their plans and at the end of the day they are not able the, the, the people they they entrusted their, their investment into their hands they are not able to do it but i'm telling you those are the stories that really motivate us at ashko at acera house commodities to do what to come To provide those opportunities that you can really depend on that you can really depend on i'm telling you you have no reason not to do business with acera house commodities not to be do business with ashko tv or not to do business with your know, simple century pick up anonymous the little feet that you have make use of it contact us listen to what we have to say if it makes a little sense to you don't have a second thought about it call us let's do that business we have come here 
to the middle to to the to to where the resources are we could have stayed in Accra and do all this business and tell you all the stories but we came to touch mine because this is where the opportunities are this is where the farmlands are this is where the farming are this is where the raw materials are and i talking about raw materials raw greens raw meals raw beans raw peanuts raw what just mention them put them in the comment you know all the greens that are directly consumable this is where they are produced and i'm telling you for a fact come to us talk to us and let's make that dream a reality i'm sorry that i have to end this uh, end this the end end this video because we have i have a meeting at exactly let me watch the time the time is 6 30. in 30 minutes i have a meeting with one man who was in 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 the u.s i think he's yeah in the u.s and he's we have had a lot of conversation and he's now in ghana he called me earlier today and we book an appointment at 7 p.m or 19 o'clock gmt for a meeting so i have to end this call get home and then and then um have the conversation with the person because agri business is something that he's passionate about and me as a custodian of agri business and <laughs> and i'm thinking myself as a prophet of agri business in africa and i want to make sure that as much as possible the help that i can the one that i can't i'll tell him that i can't but the one that i can't the information that i have i'll give it to him for him to ha to, 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 to to have the good prospects to do well in agribusiness and then have good stories to tell about agribusiness so that the, the youth of africa the youth of ghana will really benefit from the information of agribusiness from from the reality of agribusiness this is no this this is no fiction this is no lie this is reality this is no capping man <laughs> this is no capping my brother this is reality this agribusiness this is the gold that you've not been told it you've not been told really